So, basically I'd like to welcome you all to SIGGRAPH Asia. And on behalf of the ACM, I'll tell you just how happy we are to see so many people here. Um, as Scott mentioned, ACM is the parent organization of SIGGRAPH. SIGGRAPH is one of our SIGs, or special interest groups. SIGGRAPH is actually the largest SIG of any of our SIGs by far. In total, we currently have 34 SIGs, and starting January 1st, there'll be two new SIGs in bioinformatics and health informatics starting up. These are very, very popular new fields in the informatics uh, domain, and we're very, very proud to see them starting up. So in total, in January, we'll have 36 SIGs. The SIGs themselves organize over 170 conferences and workshops every year. <clears throat> Scott mentioned a few that the SIGGRAPH organization itself sponsors, but there are many, many more. One of the interesting things to see about SIGGRAPH Asia is that this year, this is the third year that we're putting it on, and already SIGGRAPH Asia has made it into the list of the top five conferences that ACM sponsors. We're amazed at this level of growth, and we're very, very happy to see it. And we hope that it continues as it goes forward. I think that that in itself actually illustrates the growth that ACM is seeing all over in Asia. Asia itself is doing spectacularly well in the computing field. We're seeing growth everywhere here. And the key thing is that growth isn't just in conferences and in conference attendees. Where we're seeing growth at ACM is at the membership level. The highest level of percentage of growth today at ACM is in Asia. It's here. This is where it's happening. And this is what we're all excited about. Because we see this as a, an area of huge potential. And we want to do everything in our power to help <coughs> aid this growth and to make Asia take its rightful place in the computing field by staging more conferences, more workshops, holding more activities here in this region. Next year, just to give you an idea of how big this growth is, we expect to grow membership in ACM from a current level of a little bit over 98,000 members to close to 110 members in one year. That's a 10% growth in one year. And almost all of that growth is coming from Asia. Why? It's because we're doing much more in this area. We're actually building up regional activities. We're having more and more conferences like SIGGRAPH Asia, and this is where it should take place. But this is a growth at a level that we've never seen before, and something that we're all very, very excited about. One of the other areas where we've had a large level of growth is in chapters. Now, Scott pointed out the number of chapters that we currently have. But the interesting thing to see is, again, in terms of percentage growth year over year, the region where we have by far the largest number of new chapters being created is right here in Asia. So we're very excited about that. I want to encourage more people to become members of your local chapters. Start working within the ACM organization. Volunteer to do things. Basically, that's how I started. So to give you an idea, I am currently the president of the ACM, and I'm a French citizen. I don't live in the United States. Computers let me talk and cooperate every day with my colleagues at ACM headquarters in New York, but I don't live in New York. I don't live near New York at all. Computers are wonderful tools because they enable this. And this change has happened over the years as we've seen ACM come from a place where when I started out as a volunteer, so just to let you know, 25 years ago, my first volunteer opportunity at ACM was with the local Paris SIGGRAPH chapter. So these were the 20 or 30 people in the city of Paris, France, who were passionate about 
computer graphics and SIGGRAPH itself and who wanted to make things happen. And I was one of those. I was much younger then, had no gray hair. It still has. What happens with many of us is we get older. And I volunteered to go and maintain the mailing list at the ACM SIGGRAPH Paris chapter. And then little by little I started volunteering for more and sooner or later they asked me to become the chair of the Paris chapter. And then I started doing more and more at SIGGRAPH, ended up becoming, well, becoming elected SIGGRAPH president. And now, this many years later, I am the first French president of this organization. I'm actually very, very proud to be because what it shows us is ACM that started out in very, very much focused in North America has grown and has learned to become an international organization. On today's executive committee at ACM, so the president, that's me, is a Frenchman. Of the four other members of the executive committee, three of them live outside of North America. That's where we know we become truly international. And what gets me excited when I talk to this audience is imagining that one day, not too long from now, somebody sitting here in this audience from this region should be standing at this podium in the role of ACM president giving this speech. Thank you very much.